and welcome back you guys to my let's play of more dungeons and Noah back let's continue on with the story <laughs> victory hooray a beautiful slaughter so many guts splattered and blood spilled entrails and burst innards will look nice on the mines walls Ew, not very feng shui aside from the fun part you also have won us enough time for reinforcements to arrive. Holy cow. They have iron golems. I thought that was goblin technology. Yeah, let's leave it at that. I don't want to end up flat as a pancake. Oh, are we making pancakes now? Yippee! You're full of surprises. A gift from the gods. You delivered a prisoner to me, then you vanquished our foes. Good, good. You should cut your elf's tongue, though. Yeah, well, uh, so what about our deal? First, I'll have to discover why the gates have been opened. It would be easier to heal the guards who were keeping the doors. If anyone survived, you could interrogate him and uncover his carelessness. <laughs> Save the dying, only to torture them after. Lovely. Ah, I like you. <laughs> hmm. There are some affections one could do without. Anyway, we've made some progress, haven't we? Can't we talk about our reward? I understand your impatience. But we could make a bigger move. Why don't you go to the inn while I impale some things on my schedule? Then we'll discuss some important matters. Well, Have the thing some is... fun and try our special brews. I won't be long. Okay then, killing some time, that sounds fine. I really don't like him. Plus his teeth are brown and yellow. What color would they be? Well, let's blow some steam off, it can't hurt. Go to fetch a few beers. You gotta admit, it's not the worst quest we've had. The optimism of adventurers is, more often than not, a subtle mix of naivete and stupidity. But I am stupidity! It's in my middle name. I know, I know, I want to see if there's any more side quests, but I don't think I, there is, because I think I just did them all. Yeah, I think I just did them all. We've just found the inn. Put some points in knowledge of the underground, did you? It's a bit weird having a pup so close to the mines. Dwarves mine all day and drink all night. And we hate those that live on top. We'll finally be able to enjoy a nice, quiet, risk-free pint. Huh. Look, that dwarf seems to be heading our way. Ha! So you guys are the topsiders. You dared to bring an elf in here. Shame on you. In my day, we would have pulled your guts through your nostrils for this. You Goldberg stains! The hell did he just say? I think we should let it go. We're here to kill some time, not get in trouble. Go eat shit and die, you unwashed Nagra gas. You guys heard it? He insulted me back! He took up my challenge! The what? Ugh, sadly, I think I know what's going on. Well, I don't. By cussing back at Goral Talk, our current great duel of Supreme Insults Champion, your topsider dwarf has risen to his challenge and contested his title. Oh, yes. that's... I'll take him down right now. Should we try to de-escalate? The cussing duel must start right away. The loser shall humiliate himself before the winner and bear his mark of infamy. Say, out of curiosity, does this Goral Talk win often? He's been undefeated for 114 years! Oh my, that's quite the record. I'm sure our dwarf is a bigger asshole. Was that a compliment? <laughs> Don't know how to react. Enough blabbering! Let the fight begin! Well, maybe begin by telling me how you guys do it. Have a right to know the rules. Sounds fair. 
Goraltok is the running champion, so he'll speak first. Then you answer, Topsider. I'll be giving you a theme for the insults and announce the winner. They seem to have a skewed vision of fairness around here. Cussing duels are very serious business to the dwarves. Cheating or being biased would be a dishonor. The first to get three winning insults wins the match. The loser shall humiliate himself before him, and shame shall spread on his clan and offspring. Yeah, yeah, got it. Bring it on, if you can still talk without losing your fake beard. Hmm. The first insult shall be directed towards your opponent's clan. Your clan is so rotten, your shields smell like freshly manured fields. <laughs> Your clan is so ugly. You guys could pass this broken stools in a tavern brawl. Uh, no. No, victory goes to the champion. This top sider is a real loser. Don't forget, no insults in between the insults. Another one, and you'll be forfeited. Whoa, their rules are strict. Next, you shall insult his armor. He's got the upper hand. Don't let him keep the lead. Yeah, plus you can't catch up with anyone with those tiny legs. Why don't you just leaf, let us face? Careful! You can't insult anyone else but your opponent during the duel. Well, I'll turn a blind eye to that one. I mean, it is an elf. <laughs> anyway, back to the game. Your armor would be better suited as a birdhouse for leprous crows. Your armor looks like it was cut out of a shower loofah. Ha! Unacceptable! You can't just blurt out the L word. Victory to Goraltuck! Take that, 2 0. Eat my dust, buddy. Next, you shall insult his lifestyle. Don't choke. If he gets this one, he wins. Now get off my back and go stuff a chair. You troll urine drinker. You gluten flea soup lover. Oh, so overdone. Point goes to Garltuck, who pulls off the win. <laughs> pa. Yeah, my ears are at least some good came out of that. Well, we're here. Yeah, but my dignity. Let's go back to the king now. I only experience points. Nah, I played it. You don't get anything out of it, and I'm not good at it, so. Keep using the goblins, golems, radiant torturer. This goes against all of our laws. Our people are getting restless. Silence! Do you want to meet the same end as Brastok? The people will do what we tell them to do, as usual. The people are too dumb to understand. Oh, great deceiver, the adventurers request your audience. Ah, perfect. Leave us. You know, for our reward, don't bother with gold. Allowing us to see your anvil will be plenty enough. Don't worry, we won't take very long. If you want to throw in some gold, we'll manage, we'll suffer. You're talking about our culture's most meaningful and sacred object. The big anvil is the vessel for the divinity which represents the very essence of these mines. He's trying to bamboozle you again. Okay, but still, we closed your gates for you. The honor of coming close to the anvil is not easily earned. And slaughtering some trogilogs is not nearly enough. But there might be a way. Something tells me the deal is not going to be a fair one. Chaos Door is 101. Something that sounds fair to them will be considered an aggravated crime with cruel intent in most cultures. Why are you talking so quietly? He can't hear us. <sighs> so, there's this usurper. The one you brought us back, Braz Tok, is my nephew, and he's plotting against me. <sighs> Family business can be hairy stuff. Once I lost a few chickens, and some people got mad at me? Anyway, I have great responsibilities, you know. I have to hold this city no matter the cost. And we've been facing adversity ever since our tunnels crossed the Trogilorks. Hmm, Brastok would risk all of our lives to quench his thirst for glory. He wants to dethrone me, and yet, 
I'm the only one who can hold Uruk's depths against these monsters. Quarter him, then. A punishment that gentle would befit the clemency one shows to close relatives. Tis true. The problem is, he has many supporters, and I can't execute him without risking a civil war. I want to maintain unity among my people. They perceive me as debonair. Debone him, then, for all I care. I'm starting to get the gruesome point. We could talk him into being a good boy, have him hug his uncle and all. Excuse me? Would you shut up? I'm negotiating. Yeah, I get you. I know what it's like having big responsibilities and being surrounded by dimwits. Like when you used to stuff chairs and chase chickens. In any case, you want us to deal with Brastock, is, is that right? Make sure he has a tragic toothbrush accident? Hmm? Yeah? I don't care about the details. I'll give you his cell's key. Just tell the prison guard I sent you to bury him with insults. I leave the rest to you. Good, we will think about it. God, this I... sucks. Political opponents always meet gruesome ends. My father usually feeds them to his hounds. It's probably best to go there first. We'll make a decision later. So what do we do? Let's go. We'll make a decision when we get there. Uh, these caves are full of echoes. Relevant as always. Okay, let's go to the prison. Sorry guys, I just want to look if there's any more side missions. Because sometimes side missions will open up when new quests start. Nope, I guess that's it. Stop right there! You can't go in there! We have the jail keys, so let us pass, please. And how come you do, huh? The king gave them to us, so we can go in to humiliate Braztok. I've got some spare pup to it. <laughs> ah, I see. Well, kick his teeth in for me, would you? There, it's our guy! Traitors! Bastards! Topsiders! Hey, mind your mouth, you cave swine! The king sent us here for you, with a gruesome task to accomplish. That vile scumbag only thinks of his own glory and fortune. He cares nothing for our people. Well, he says you're the one who'd sacrifice everything for your ambitions. His greed had us delve too deep in the search for gems and gold. He's responsible for the Trogilorks attacking us. We stumbled on one of their lairs. Ugh. It's always the same with dwarves. Instead of sealing off the mines he exploits for precious minerals, he chose to hire iron golems forged by the goblins. Ugh, goblins. Now that is revolting. I just wanted to collapse the mine shafts and send back the golems and the mercenaries who maneuver them. That's it, but it got me banished and exiled. Uh, politics can be harrowing. But it's not too late. Join my cause. We'll make my uncle bite the dust. And turn our coats? I didn't bring a coat. Anyone got a spare? When I am king, I'll give you access to the big anvil. But if you keep your word to nurse a talk, he'll use and betray you. Oh boy, these dwarves are nasty. They should learn to hug it out. This is a Cornelian dilemma. Hmm? Dilemma? 
Who is she? So, we now have the choice between betraying the king to join the traitor who might not be one, or betraying the traitor who might not be one to join the king who might be a traitor. My head hurts. I'm going to join the traitor. It's good. Ah. How about a big party to bring everyone closer together with balloons and pancakes? Like a fiesta yippee. The thief is right. Either we stay true to the rightful king and deny the renegade, or we give our trust to the zealot prince and fight the apostate monarch. I didn't get all those words. Is betraying a traitor truly betraying anyone? Oh, damn, you guys are so dense. Oh, shit. Ah, crap. Which one is his name? Borzaka? I think your name is... I don't think it'd be very wise to join up with a flea bag rotting in a damp cell and a face You off. vile pu... You're on your own, clown face. I can have a boom, Godfaz. What do you mean, I've heard something? Prince, here we are. You're free. We've used a rune of instant secret passage. Just on time. Get rid of those accursed topsiders. I'll be... Oh, damn it. I'm out. I'm out. I wanted to join the prince. armor a bit. Uh. Uh, I'm positive we've just found... Hmm. The first insult shall be directed towards your opponent's clan. Your clan is so rotten, your shields smell like freshly manured fields. Your clan is so low class, your warriors get to drink with ours piss. Uh-uh. Victory goes to Garltok. Easy. Next, you shall insult his armor. He's got the upper hand. Don't let him keep the lead. Yeah, plus you can't catch up with anyone with those tiny legs. Why don't you just leaf, let us face? Careful. You can't insult anyone else but your opponent during the duel. Well. Your armor's got more holes than my grandma's underwear. Oh, snap. It's hard. If you know his granny, ha! <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, nothing. I was thinking about Geralta. Uh, victory goes to the topsider. Coming from behind. <laughs> Next, you shall insult his face. We're tied. He's got some pretty sick burns. Says he has some soothing cream if it hurts. Your face looks like a sickly piglet. Your face looks like a squashed avocado. Just bad. Not even good enough for an elfic safe space. Bro you radish roasted. Mm, uh, nah. I really thought this. I don't give a crap. Damn it. We 
can't keep using the... Yeah, because I want the jail key. There, it's our guy. Traitors, bastards, topsiders. Oh, damn, you guys are so dense. I mean, the king does seem to be a twisted sadist. So maybe it's best to free you. Thanks. I'm glad you've seen through his deceptions. What do you mean, I've heard something? Prince, here we are. You're free. We've used a rune of instant secret passage. Thanks. I have won us more supporters to our cause. A great. even brought us an elf so we can sacrifice her to appease the gods. Uh, excuse me? Ah, the king told us to keep an eye on you bunch of topside shits. You'll pay for your betrayery. Actually, it's betrayal. Mm, just we were finding on a sacrifice the elf. Deal with those scoundrels. We'll be going to the throne room to get rid of the king. Meet up with us. Once you're covered in their guts up to your shoulders. Okay, guys, I'm gonna stop right here. I know it wasn't a bad. I know we didn't get to see fights because I wanted to join the uh, other army, but we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna fight in this next fight or. You know what? We'll continue on the next video. I'll catch you guys next time when we play more The Dungeons and Nobacks. See ya.